This is a big day. Adobe Express Beta is here with over 25 new features that I'll walk through today. Stay with me. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. I'm a very proud Adobe Express ambassador. This is my go-to platform to create standout content Anyone can do it, especially non-designers. Their new beta just launched and it is giving any other online design tool a run for its money. Let me show you why, starting with some of its newest features in the all-in-one editor. Before that, the first thing you're gonna notice from the homepage is a brand new, beautifully designed interface. So from here, we can actually, this is new and it's very exciting, we can choose the type of project that we're gonna create. And there are some new ones here that I'm gonna go into more detail on. So you'll decide based on what you want and the homepage is totally dynamic based on what you choose. I also love here the ability to start from your own content. That includes PDF, Photoshop files, and Illustrator files. And we'll talk more about that coming up. As well, when I click up here, we're gonna see lots of new project types. This is so, so exciting. There are at least double, probably more than what was listed in the previous version of Express. And really creative stuff here that you might not have even thought about using Express for. Desktop wallpaper, worksheets, a Zoom background, an online newsletter. There's so, so much here for you to explore and get ideas on how you can use this awesome platform. So let's get started designing a flyer. We have two options here to browse from templates or create from scratch. I'm gonna select create from scratch. The next thing you're gonna notice, which hopefully you just saw was the speed in Adobe Express beta. It is so much faster. Here I can begin designing something from scratch or I'll click over to the templates, which you know if you've seen any of my previous videos, this is one of my favorite things in Express are the beautifully designed templates. I've also found that the keyword search is so much better. So for example, if I'm looking for a particular type of content, such as a guide to, I'm getting lots of awesome results here, something that I can start from, which is gonna make applying my brand and designing something for me a lot faster. The next thing I wanna show you that's new is the resize feature that we know and love. Yes, this was in the previous version of Express, but take a look at how robust this is with all different sizes, depending on what it is that I wanna design. In fact, I might be designing a campaign with different assets for different platforms. Let's say in this example, I'm designing a flyer, but I also need to put it on Instagram as a square post. So what I can do is click this add button and duplicate this page. And now I could resize this for whatever I need such as an Instagram square post. And now I would just make those modifications here to fit that size. Both assets can live in the same project at different sizes, and that's really unique about Express. As well, now you can create video in the same project. So I can resize this for video and start to add assets such as video. Here we'll type dentist, pop in some footage from Adobe Stock, and there we have it, a video in our same project. So I'm loving the ability to create designs with multiple asset types like video and static images. The new editor is hot, but there is even more excitement. Now Express handles video content like no other platform out there that I have seen. Mixed media, a drag and drop editor, templates for TikTok and Instagram Reels that are awesome. Check this out. Okay, this is where things get really exciting. I'll select video from the homepage and you'll see right away that Instagram Reel, TikTok, now it is possible to create with brand new templates. Let's say I was gonna make a reel. I'll browse from some templates here, which I think is always a great idea, especially if you're just getting started in here. I like how this template is looking. Obviously, I'll change the information on it, but right away, you're gonna notice this amazing drag and drop editor, okay? A brand new timeline that we can click and drag, and then on the canvas, we can actually adjust this information. Just like that. And I am loving this drag and drop editor. Clicking over to media, I wanna show you now how it's possible to take a photo and actually turn that into a video with animation. So let's drop in a photo here, select animation, and here, as you know, that was a static image, but now it will actually animate just like that. Next, which is new and very exciting, you'll see some tabs up here that are brand new, like adding stock video from Adobe Stock and some really, really awesome options here. You can see how on this timeline, it's handling multiple clips really well, multiple videos, as well as static images, as you saw, which we can animate. Express has never been able to handle this many files with such ease before, and I'm very, very excited about it. Some of the controls you'll spot here are cropping, volume, speed, opacity, and then down here, we have some coloring effects, 
adjustments for light and color, and finally animation, which is gonna bring some life to your project. Going back to media, I wanna show you one more thing, the ability to add audio. They've got a great library here powered by Adobe Stock for some audio that we can throw into here. And that's how audio will look on your timeline, but not just stock tracks, also the ability to upload your own from your computer or your device, or actually record a voiceover without having to do that in a separate program. You can do that right in Express. So that's video and audio, new and Express. The last thing I wanna show you is the ability to add custom timing for individual elements. So I've just dragged in this design element down on the timeline, I can select the timing and where I would want this to actually appear in the clip. As well, I can click over to animation and add one of those if I wanted to. Once one is selected, I can customize that duration and its personality, as well as its direction. Back on the timeline here, I can see everything at play and if there's any adjustments that I wanna make, that is really easy. Now I wanna show you the new generative AI features from Adobe Firefly, which are now integrated into Adobe Express. You are going to love this. Right from the homepage, you're gonna see two brand new features and I'm gonna talk in detail about them. We can actually get to them by selecting this option, generative AI. First, you're gonna see text to image. This is the integration with Adobe Firefly. Here we can generate images from a detailed text description. Here you can describe anything, things, environments, people, moods. I should note that right now this is in English only. I also love that they have lots of examples here. If there's something that grabs your eye, go ahead and click on it and have a look at the prompt that was used to generate it. That should give you lots of ideas. I love how this is looking. What's also great with this feature is it's gonna give you multiple results depending on what the prompt is. So in this case, interior design room with lots of plants, that's the first option, but have a look at these other options that are absolutely beautiful. And if I want, I can load more. Again, this is text to image. Very important for you to know that you can control the content type. So in this case, you can choose photo, graphic, art. As well, you can also drill down on the style that you want. Definitely something to explore. Back on the homepage, that's text to image. Let's talk about the next one, which is text effects. Here you can apply styles or textures to actual text with a prompt. Again, I can type anything I want in here. I'm gonna leave that for you to explore. And instead here, I'm gonna look through some of the examples. This one's drawing my attention. Rainbow Kitchen Sponge. I definitely wouldn't have thought of that, but I absolutely love how it's looking. Again, thanks to Firefly, we have multiple results. We can load more if we want, and we can adjust the settings right here. This is text effects in Express. I really think that this is gonna make your designs truly unique. Thanks to generative AI, you're not just starting from a template, as you can see, but we can make truly custom designs using your imagination. I think templates and and Gen AI are the perfect combination to create something totally unique. Again, just a quick example. Okay, let me show you something that is completely new and really unique, the ability to collaborate with others in real time on the same project. In the old version of Express, this was possible, but this is like next level what I'm about to show you. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to invite others by email. So you would click share, click invite collaborators, and from here, we can paste an email, or if we wanna provide link access, we would select copy link and share that with our friends. Right now, I'm gonna type my friend Liz's email. Once that's in there, I can include an optional message and click invite. And in just a second, your collaborator will get that invite and you can begin collaborating. So you can see Liz's cursor live shown on the screen. This is so cool. She selected this text. Maybe she'll add a design element. Just like that, I am loving that we can actually work together on the same document. This is the coolest thing ever. The last thing I wanna show you is the ability to comment. So let's say I wanna get Liz's feedback on something. I can tag her in a comment. What do you think about this option? And I'll click submit. Liz has now been tagged in a comment and she'll be able to reply and give feedback. And there we go, we see a comment, looks awesome, Phil. So that is the ability to comment and collaborate in real time in Express. Moving on to one of my favorite new updated features, the fresh redesign and capabilities of brand kits in Adobe Express. 
First of all, it's in a brand new place. You may be used to seeing it on this tab. It's still here, but it's under your stuff. And from here, we'll select brands and libraries. Let's talk about both of those. Starting with brands, I am loving how this is set up. So this looks familiar, but when we click into a brand, you're gonna see your brand in more detail. And I really love how this is set up. So not only do we have our logos, our colors, our fonts, but also graphic elements. This is super awesome and new in Express to be able to actually host graphic files within your brand that you can obviously use yourself or share with others like team members. I also like how on the right here, you can see how your brand looks. It's sampling these elements that you've decided and giving you a little preview. Next, when we go back to your stuff, I wanna select libraries. Now, libraries are not just specific in Express. This is an Adobe wide thing that actually carries across multiple apps. You can access your libraries in Photoshop, in Illustrator, and the list goes on. For example, to access your files, you can do so in the Creative Cloud app by selecting files, and from there, you can see your libraries. There they are. And one more thing that relates to your brand, specifically your typography, when I click over here to text and I add some text, you'll spot here recommended fonts in a new layout. This is intelligently looking at your design and making recommendations on some fonts that will look great in that design. I often discover fonts here in this feature that I wouldn't have otherwise found. So I really, really like this recommended fonts. This is also new, the ability to import and enhance PDF files, as well as import Photoshop and AI file types if you're a Creative Cloud member. Also linked assets, take a look. I'm gonna start by showing you PDF. So I'll click document and from here, I'll actually upload a PDF that I have handy. How about this furniture plan? Express will take a few moments to convert that file into an Express file and once it's ready, I can open it in the editor. And voila, I can interact with this document as if it was created here right from Express. I absolutely love this. Now, what about other file types from Adobe like Photoshop or AI Illustrator files? Those you can now import. What I will do now is upload a Photoshop file, for example, this bowl. Note that that file that is uploaded, Express makes a copy of it so that you can access it on other Adobe apps. Note this is for Creative Cloud members only. There's our bowl, which will just take a few seconds to upload. And once it does, I can interact with this document like I would, for example, a photo. I can remove the background. I can adjust some of the colors. Best of all, it becomes a linked asset that I can access in another Adobe apps, if you use Creative Cloud. And finally, the content scheduler in Express has been refreshed and it is really easy to use. Let's say I wanna share my mood board on social media. Now that's as easy as clicking share. And from here, I would select schedule post. That's gonna bring me to the redesign scheduler, which I'm absolutely loving here. I can schedule or publish now, set the date and time, choose the channel, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn at the time of recording this video and add my caption. And if I want an emoji, I can add that right there. Just like that. And as before, I can save this as a draft. Let's say I'm gonna post it on Instagram. It will show me additional settings for that platform if they exist, and I can preview how my image is going to look on that platform. That's the updated scheduler, and I'm absolutely loving it. So that is the all new Adobe Express, currently in open beta, which is why you need to rush over and try it for yourself if you haven't already. I'm linking to Adobe Express in the description below, so it's easy for you to click over and check it out. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. I'm learning every day and exploring this platform for myself. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. If you've got any questions, I respond to those personally. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you and subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Thank you, Adobe Express, for sponsoring this video. As always, I'm a very proud Adobe Express ambassador. Brings me a lot of joy to share this platform with others. Next time, sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Those are coming up next.